out here at Myrtle Grove. It's like 47, 48 degrees right now. It's pretty cold, but we catching trout one after the other. Oh, it looks like he's too small. Shit. Got you one, huh, there, boy? There we go, too big. There we go. Two of them. There we go. Bag. Little baby. Oh. There you go. Oh, don't try to pick it up like that. We'll get the net. I gotta move around to get it. Hey, he's snagged. Have fun. Yep, have fun. Uh-oh. He's underneath the boat. <laughs> what is that? The hell is he on it? What is he doing? Just pulling against you? It's got to be a big old gar or something. Oh my God! <laughs> Keep it off the thing. Oh shit. Damn, man. What's up guys? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, the last part of the video I want to talk about, uh, I've seen my grandpa catch massive drum on that pole. And uh, the way that that fish just dominated the way that that line was going, it had to have been a giant gar. My dad missed one about seven feet long last year, a huge one. Uh, him and my aunt could barely pick it. They couldn't even get it in a boat, and they wound up eventually breaking the line. But they got huge uh, gar out there. But uh, we caught 75 trout today. The limit here in Louisiana is 25 per person. We caught 75. And another guy, they caught 50. And another guy caught 52. So at Myrtle Grove Marina right now, they're destroying trout. If you want to go out there and you ain't going to spend a lot of gas because you're probably going to have to go 100 yards from the marina. And we're fishing on the bottom, little double rig sparkle beetles, little swim baits. They might be near the surface. They might be on the bottom. You're gonna have to kind of bounce it around, see what they see what they want. You know, you might have to just reel it in or whatever. But I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks.